Hey folks, we take many things in our lives for granted, and this includes, for example, our sun. But what would actually happen if the sun just one day was no longer there? Let's find out. Here we go. Number five. The sun would not disappear from one moment to the next, as we would only be able to notice this eight minutes later. That's how long the sun's rays need to get from their source to the Earth's surface. Immediately after that, all light would have gone out on the Earth and affect all solar-powered systems. Number four. After a few days, the first plants would begin to wither, which ensures that herbivores such as rabbits will quickly run out of food. We humans and other predators might have better opportunities, but we'll also run out of food quickly because we eat so many of those herbivores who have no more food. Number three. After one week of the sun being gone, that means the temperatures on Earth would drop to about negative 70 degrees Celsius. The oceans would freeze, at least superficially. The ice that forms on the sea surface would form a protective layer that could hold the underlying water over many years, even if the surface temperature of the Earth has dropped to negative 220 degrees Celsius after about 10 years, the temperature in some areas underwater could guarantee the survival of some life. Number 2. The only way for people to go on surviving after the sun is to build cities underwater, or settle in shelters in an area where you can utilize geothermal energy. In Iceland, for example, 87% of all residents already live with geothermal energy. However, the whole theory quickly topples over when you realize we'd hardly have any time to make the necessary preparations for so many people. And finally, number one. Let's say that even if we did manage to survive, we would still likely not escape a cruel disaster. The Earth and all the other planets in the solar system are fixed to this one star. This means that if the sun disappeared, all the planets would be thrown out of orbit, and even if we don't crash at some point with Pluto, Mars, or our own moon, we can be sure that we'll collide with something at some point during our uncontrolled space travel. There is good news, however, as physicists believe that it'll be about 10 billion years before our sun decides to supernova itself. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about what would happen if this mega disaster occurred, and let's hope that it does take 10 billion years. If you like this video, why not check out another one right here? Just click in the middle. Till next time, bye!